Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to my GSPN recap where we talk high school sports. My name is Chris Gonzalez, and as always, the show is brought to you guys by GardenGrocer.com and Central Florida Chem Dry. As we all know, yesterday was National Signing Day. We had the opportunity uh, to catch up with a lot of these student athletes that are going to be playing at the next level, um, including many from the 2018 5A state champs and Lakeland Dreadnoughts. Guys, thank you again for who you are and what you've done for Lakeland High School, and we just want to wish you the best in the next step. In front of a large crowd made up of family, friends, classmates, coaches, and faculty and staff members, nine Dreadnoughts announced their commitments, including eight football players and basketball star Luke Anderson. Uh, I just want to thank like, all my teammates, um, my friends, best friends, parents, uh, mom, dad, sister, and coaches, everybody here, honestly, for uh, making it such like a home place to me. Like, Lakeland has just been where it's at. And, like, I had offers to go, like, other places for, like, prep school. But, like, I could never do anything like that. Like, this place is really home to me, and I love it here for real. Several coaches talked about the players, including seven-time state champ head football coach, Bill Castle. I want to wish you all the guys up here uh, a lot of luck. Just uh, hope all you guys will just be yourself, stay humble, always credit your teammates, and... Uh, Try to uh, pursue uh, your goals and what you want to uh, achieve. Among the eight football players, we had Latrell Jean headed out to Florida Atlantic. He was a captain of the team this year. Uh, Chris Howard is going to be sent out to Central Arkansas. Khalil Crawford uh, inked over to the U.S. Naval Academy. Jahari Martin, the team MVP, uh, who finished with 130 tackles on the season and 18 rushing touchdowns. Uh, and six sacks. He's going to go ahead and inked out to Montana State. Um, and then you also had three Lakeland Dreadnought football players heading out to the University of Florida, including Davey Hammond. So is your goal right now to actually be like, uh, basically be able to play this season? Like coming up? Yes, man. I'm definitely looking for a starting position, but I know I got to go through a lot of competition, so I'm ready for it. Are you ready for that competition, though? So what made you make that decision to actually go to UL? It felt like, yeah, busy back, back to back, you know, eventually me and the coach got closer, so that made it easy. As a junior, they were here thinking about having you be a captain. How'd that make you feel? Man, it made me feel great because the fact that my leadership was showing me, you noticed it, it's amazing. It's been awesome. And here it is. It's like you guys were really is St. Aquinas. You know, St. Aquinas last year, they had actually won the championship and everything, too. And a lot of people did not believe that you guys could do it. How did that make you feel when you actually said, here we are with me? It felt great. Maybe we get that word. People that we couldn't do it. We showed them that we could do it. So, I mean, it's, we all hard work to prove this. If they could have a team MVP, you would have been that. What, how did it make you feel when they said that? It made me feel good because you know everybody here about Demarcus Bowman, so you got the trilogy, you got the quarterback, you know. But like, I feel like I'm the unsung here because I led the defense with 130 tackles and I missed the game. Then to go back on offense and score almost as many TDs as Bowman as a linebacker. And then I, I did my thing on special teams as well, so it feels good. And not to mention, they also said about six sacks. Yeah, six sacks from the linebacker. That is amazing. That is amazing. And they said you know basically like you basically had like the best single season. How did you? Great, because I worked so hard to get to where I am right now, so people don't even know. 